Okay guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I have got a pretty cool video for you and what we're gonna be doing is looking at my current favorite loadout to run in the Crucible. That's right. What do I run the most if I'm just trying to have some fun right now? And it is these two bad boys right here. So let's take a look at them. You might be familiar with this weapon already. I've shown it on other videos. Rampage, Outlaw, Accurize Rounds, Extended Barrel, the Ability Master Work, or Stringer. And uh, it also has a Rampage spec mod on it. I really enjoy this weapon. Obviously you guys know it's the Ice Luna replica. And it just feels good to use. It feels rewarding to use a 140 RPM hand cannon and to do well with it. In second result, we are using my full auto opening shot good bone structure. Now this thing is pretty nasty too. Of course you guys know the Gnorus Axe is available. And uh, to my dismay, I farmed Iron Banner for a good six and a half hours today and I didn't get a single good Gnorus Axe to drop for me. So as of right now, this is my favorite slug shotgun and uh, that is what we have been rocking. We do also have tractor cannon. I'm not sure if I actually got ammo in the gameplay you're going to see. We've got a 52 defeat game to show you. This is a casual game on stream and yes, the one-eyed mask is back. I decided to throw on the one-eyed to try out this setup and the reason behind that is really as you guys probably have noticed, especially if you watch the streams, I use Antea Swords a hell of a lot these days, but it depends on my loadout. And if I'm going to use these two weapons, I first of all do not like sliding with Antea Swords if I'm using a slug shotgun, because it's like a recoil when you block damage, and that makes it very hard to land headshots with a slug shotty. So as a rule, I will never rock Antea Swords with a slug shotgun. I would either do Synthercepts or I would do One-Eyed Mask, and since I've got a precision weapon targeting One-Eyed, and I've got two precision weapons, you know, it's a match made in heaven. So that's what we did. This is the setup that we used. We were on top three Sentinel Titan as usual. We are rocking one ordnance mod, one recovery, one mobility, two mobility, one ordnance. So you can see, you know, we're not using any super mods. We're not being super toxic. The one-eyed mask I know is kind of toxic, but overall, this is a really fun and uh, rewarding loadout that rewards good precision. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. The gameplay is coming up. We've got a good match here on Pacifica. We ran out of medals. Ghost in the Night medal. 52 defeats. Uh, the commentary, you might not be able to hear the commentary because I was streaming at the time and I didn't have my game mic close to me, I think, at the time. So uh, there may not be commentary. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, be ready for the next upload because, you know, they're going to be coming thick and fast. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. You're in the lead. A fire team that fights together stays together. Titans like you, I could build all seven columns and shake the pillars to their core. No one on the enemy team using special. They can't get anything coming out. Strength in 
numbers, Guardian. Excellent. minutes remaining. the cabal with my burning light challenge the fallen kells to personal combat and scatter them i i've been watching to the double down sound tactics bring victory Most i've recorded your session for the rookie 
They'll have no excuses for sloppy technique. Oh, nah, man, I should have five super bad, don't touch it. 